Hey, what's up y'all? Danny from Van Life Northwest coming to you today with this 1989 Toyota Hiace fire truck. This fire truck is LH85, which designates it has true four wheel drive. So two high, four high, four low transfer case and the 2.4 liter 2L model diesel inline four cylinder engine. This happens to have the crew or double cab, um, which has seat belts for six people, believe it or not. Now it can be difficult in these videos to tell the scale, but uh, this truck has about the footprint of a Toyota Tacoma. So it's not very wide or long really, uh, although it may look like it in the video. Pretty standard Toyota truck size from this era, late 80s, early 90s. The bed is a six foot bed, but like most all of these fire trucks that we've worked on, and we've had probably close to 50 of these at this point, um, everyone is modified slightly different in the back. What's cool about this one though, as you can see, is that the bed sides are generally intact. A lot of times you'll see a big cut in the bed straight through here which I mean you can use it to your advantage but if you are like me and appreciate the look of this original Toyota bed with the hooks on it like that the hook side then it's really nice to see one that's relatively intact um, now all these fire trucks come with different levels of uh, decommissioning done to it and here you can see really what's left is the canopy, this ladder, which is great. It unfolds, so it doubles the size. This is about a 12 foot ladder when it's extended. And then uh, the infrastructure here for the back. This is a storage box, which is pretty much tacked in there, which could come out pretty easy. Uh, and then you can see the original bed is generally intact here. So you could remove that if you didn't like it. There's a storage basket up there. You can remove that if you don't like that either. But I think a lot of this um, equipment and build out for these fire trucks is useful if you have a creative mind. Oh, one other thing they left is this really cool spotlight. Now, what you see commonly on these is any part of the body and chassis uh, that is original, uncut, unmodified, generally has no damage to the paint. But then you'll see sections like this here, which this plate has been attached over the original bed. And because the paint they use is not quite as durable as the original Toyota undercoating, that would be on this section it tends to chip easier. Now, that's a bit of surface rust and really that's the extent of it. And it's really only on the areas that were um, modified uh, well, when they built this uh, fire truck originally. So I'm just trying to point out some um, cosmetic blemishes. Now to some people that would seem pretty minor, uh, me as well, but it uh, certainly is worth noting. Now you can see here, uh, we've lifted this truck two inches, which is standard for any of the highest fire trucks that we work on. And we also have thrown on 30 inch BFG KO2 all-terrain tires, what I'd consider a uh, pretty damn good tire on and off-road. Something cool here is the riding here is done by hand and was on this one, I believe was covered in tape when we got it. So we took it off and was able to clean it up and buff it out and we left it because I think it looks great and it tells a bit of the history of the truck. Um, I haven't translated it, so I don't know what that is actually in the moment. From the factory, these trucks were white, as you can see, um, in Japan where they're building these fire trucks, they spray them red with a single stage 
red paint. Interior is that classic Toyota dark blue. So this is a five-speed um, manual transmission. Down there is the uh, gear lever for the four-wheel drive. So two high, four high, four low transfer case. Let's peek back in here for a minute. So we can see here 22,000 kilometers, which um, is about 13,000 miles, 14,000. Upholstery is in good shape. Really, the, the most damage is this bit here, which is pretty minor. Manual windows, manual uh, locks. Let's go back. The back shows a bit more wear for having, uh, I believe they've carried different tools and equipment here. Um, just kind of dirty a little bit, but we've cleaned it, but you know, some of that dirt you just can't get out. This is just a little surface rust, nothing really to worry about there. Um, vinyl's in good shape, all considered. Now this seat has seating uh, belts for three and it will actually flip up here if I lift it. I've got some of my gear under there, so I'm not gonna do it now, but it'll flip up and store against here to allow this whole area to be open for storage or maybe you wanna build a, some drawers or something that would slide in and out of there. There's a lot of creative things you can do with these uh, fire trucks. And that's what I really like about these is that everyone is slightly different and the people that purchase them generally get creative with how they build them out. Now we've done a bunch of other mechanical work to this vehicle beyond the suspension work that I mentioned. Um, we always do timing belt. So this had a timing belt and a, as an idler and tensioner pulley uh, we replace those, the water pump, the thermostat, the cam and crank oil seals, um, all the coolant hoses. So anywhere coolant is traveling, those rubber hoses have been replaced. Um, all the drive belts, so it has a dual alternator belt and a power steering belt, those are new. All the gear oil, so four spots, front diff, rear diff, and the um, transmission and transfer case. Fuel filter, air filter, all the fuel lines. Probably already said water pump thermostat. But currently, this truck is for sale. Find it at our website, vanlifenorthwest.com, in the for sale section. So slash for sale. That's where it is. As I've said, we've done a lot of these fire trucks and it's not for an arbitrary reason. It's because these are great rigs. For an 89, this thing is uh, about as clean as you can find. Very low miles, garage kept, just an altogether great rig for, you know, someone looking for something a little different. Definitely a conversation piece. Reach out, say hi, let's chat about it. If not this one, we have others in the works as well. All right, y'all, peace.